Kedusha, Nesu, and marriage, according to Halacha, in honor of Moshe and Racheli Kassin. This is part three, and we'll discuss who is a kosher aid and when do we need a kosher aid at the wedding ceremony, for which parts. So we have Adim working throughout the whole ceremony. You have the Adim for Tanaim, then you have Adim signing the Ketuvah, then you have Adim watching the Kedushan take place, then you have Adim Yichud. And there are those who hold that you have to have proper Adim straight through the process. Some say that Adim Yichud uh, are not necessary. We'll talk about that in Mitzvah Shem uh, in another shear. So you have the Tanah, and that Tanah really means, when we sign Tanah, that means the parents are going to work together to go ahead over the next couple of weeks or months to prepare for the wedding properly and honor their commitments. Now, you sign the Tanaim at the, if you sign the Tanaim months early, then fine, but if you, then it makes sense. If you sign it at the wedding, well, the plans were all taken care of. So Moshe has his own text uh, where it makes sense that you're signing right then and there. So some do Tanaim, some don't do Tanaim. Tanaim is not really crucial for the wedding, but once you have people sign, they should be Allah HaKedim. Which we'll discuss in a moment what that is. And you have Eide Ktuva, that for sure you need halachic Edim, no question about it. Edim Shomatom is us, as we'll elaborate in a moment. Then you have the Edim watching the Kedushin. And then you have the, the when he says, I am Ali, he would they to see that whole ceremony. Then Eide Yuchud, the two Edim that stand by the Yuchud room, to make sure the two of them are alone in the room. There are those that have the same set of Edim straight through from Sani Tuva to Edim Kedushin to the Edim on the Yechid room. And we mentioned in the previous year, but I want to just stress who is an aid? A person is an aid if he's 100% committed to keeping everything in Halacha. That's it. Which means every time he has a child, he's going to call Rabba or look it up himself. He's going to do whatever he feels. He's going to be guided by Halacha. I used to say no one is, and who could ever do that? People always sin, people make mistakes. Yes, that's fine. You make a mistake, you do tshuva. Yeah, but sometimes people don't even know what they're doing. They make mistakes for years. They don't realize. That's called shogeg. So it's very clear to Hosh and Mishpah that when you do something wrong, b'shogeg, you didn't know it was us, so then you're not knocked out from being an aid or witness. It's when you know that something is us, and you just say, it's not my thing. I don't do this. I don't keep this. That's too much. So that person loses his credibility halachically as an aid, as a witness. So many of the ceremonies throughout the night need halachic aidim, and it is crucial to know halachic aid is someone who keeps everything in halacha, and if ever he doesn't, is he eats to got the best of him, but then he does truba, gets right back on track, or shogi, he didn't know there was such halacha, but it really, really showed him. I don't think a person could say today, you didn't know, well, I didn't know that, now that I hold my girlfriend's hand. I think everyone knows to go from a modern Orthodox background or more, you know this in the Kronagia. But if it's a halach which you didn't know about, and it's truly shogeg, then that would not knock a person out of the running. So it's crucial that this status of an aid, which plays such a major role throughout the whole ceremony, from the signing of the Tanah until the Yichud room, could be an hour or so apart, or that there's four, eight times we need Edim, that it should be Halachic Edim, especially from the Edik to Manon. That's for sure that we need to have Halachic Edim and follow it up properly. Shalom.